Our federal tax liens wiped out by foreclosure. Welcome back. Now this episode is about federal tax liens and are they wiped out by a foreclosure? So I'll cover that in depth. I've been doing this for 25 years. Prior to being involved with tax liens and tax deeds, I was in the foreclosure business for 20 years. I wrote books on it that stayed in Barnes & Noble for over 12 years. There's a ton of confusion about foreclosure and mortgage foreclosure and tax lien foreclosure. Now that's caused by so many liens ending up on the average property. So let's discuss that. First of all, they could be the tax lien. That's the most important lien. Okay, there could be a state income tax lien. There could be a federal income tax lien. There could be other mortgage liens, like a security deed, which would be in, in Georgia, or a deed of trust like they would use in Texas. Okay, there's many liens that end up on property. So let's kind of narrow cast this, and I'll go through it step by step with you. When I end this video, I'm gonna end it with two very important things. There are two mistakes that are made at tax auctions. I don't want you to miss the end of this video because those mistakes that people make at tax auctions cost them $25,000, $50,000. Those are big mistakes. I want to teach you how to avoid those mistakes. So stay tuned and I'll come right back. Our federal tax liens wiped out by foreclosure. So let's discuss this. Because the most important lien on the property is always the local tax lien. Okay, that lien is from the county. Most second liens on property is the mortgage because people... The first is the land, they want to put a house on it, so they go to the Bank of America, they go to Wells Fargo, they get a mortgage. So most foreclosure involves mortgage foreclosure. All right, now if a tax lien is on the property and it forecloses, it'll wipe out that mortgage. So our question today is are federal tax liens wiped out by foreclosure? Well, the answer is yes. All right, so if a mortgage forecloses, that would be the second lien. Any lien that's junior to that, junior simply means not the name of who the lien is, and the junior means it's at a later date. Date and time are very important. Let me say that again. Date and time are very important. 99% of real estate people don't understand liens. The first lien is always the property tax lien. Generally, the second lien will be the mortgage. All right. So our federal liens wiped out by a foreclosure. All right, now I'm not a CPA, I'm not a real estate broker, and I'm not an attorney. I got my experience working in the trenches over the past 25 years of doing this. So the information I'm giving you is the real deal. You can confirm it all by simply looking in the statutes for the state. You can confirm it by looking at the statutes with the county. A statute is nothing more than a law that is written by the legislature. But federal and state liens are wiped out when a mortgage foreclosure takes place or a tax lien foreclosure takes place. Now, when I say they're wiped out, they're wiped out regarding the property. Those liens still belong to the person that they were filed against. So if Mr. A owns a house and the house goes to foreclosure, the liens are wiped off the property. But all of those liens, whether they be a federal lien, whether they be a state lien, whether they be an IRS lien, whether they be a judgment from a court, those all are still owed against the person, but they're cleared against the property. So a mortgage foreclosure wipes out all junior liens. It's very important you understand that liens are by date and time. Now you're probably wondering what the rules are near you. Well, if you wanna know more about real estate, I can give you more. So just put your questions in the chat box below. If you wanna know how much the tax liens are in your state, just put your note in there and give me your address and we'll get back to you with that information and I'll send you a little gift. All right, so let's look at what we're talking about here. What we're really concerned about is our liens being wiped out off the property. If there's a tax certificate auction, any lien that's junior will be taken off the property. So that we use the term wiped out. So that means it's taken off the property. All right, it still belongs to the person. So if you signed a mortgage, you signed it, you're the signatory, then that mortgage will still be against you as a person, but it will be cleaned off the property. So why do lenders lend money? They lend money because they wanna make money. So they need to know the value of the property and they need to know that you have a job. If you got both of those things, you can usually get some money. All right, now if you don't pay them, 
They want their collateral back. And their collateral was simply the property. So they want it back. In order to get it back, they have to take a, and do a mortgage foreclosure. My course teachings are not only with mortgage foreclosures, but we teach you that the lien that's even prior ahead of the mortgage lien is a tax lien certificate. So if a lender is unable to collect money, they will start a foreclosure. They will sue. What do they do? They hire an attorney and they'll actually sue you. Now, the states that use security deeds and the states that, that use deed of trust, they don't have to hire an attorney and they can still do the foreclosure. The first lien is always the tax lien. So if you have a buy a, a tax lien, you have the first lien. You can wipe out every other lien on the property if you take it to foreclosure. All right, what is a mortgage foreclosure? It's a lender trying to get back the collateral. Okay, those are big money foreclosures. In other words, if the loan was 50% of the value, you're going to have to pay 50% to get that property. We like to buy properties for 10 and 20 cents from the tax collector, not from the mortgagee, all right? So you don't want to be involved in those mortgage foreclosures. That's a foreclosure bill, very expensive. All junior liens are wiped out at a tax auction. Let me say that again. All junior liens are wiped out. So what was our question today? What was this episode all about? Are federal tax liens wiped out by foreclosure? If it's a tax lien foreclosure, it wipes out everything. If it's a mortgage foreclosure, it wipes out everything that's junior to it. So I'm gonna finish up by answering a couple of questions. Well, first of all, if you wanna do great research, which is what the question is, um, you can go to my website because I've got a ton of stuff there on the website at tedthomas.com and I have a research center there. Uh, but if you want to just uh, uh, go on Google, you can get information there. Keep in mind, it's not necessarily, you know, legal information they're giving you, but they're giving you information. You could hire an attorney to tell you that would be the best thing, the most accurate. Uh, you could go to a title company. The title company will know the, the rules in and out, and they'll have more than likely have an attorney on staff or available by phone, so they, they'll be able to tell you. But you can look up on the county website, and it'll explain it in many cases, and you can look up in any of the statutes for the state that you're in, and they'll even show you how to do a foreclosure in the statute. They'll give you the step-by-step -step process. Will tax liens or any kind of lien affect your credit report? You better believe it will. If you've got liens on your credit report, it's gonna show up and uh, your chances of getting money are slim and none because those liens have to be paid. The lien might have been removed from the property, but it's certainly not removed from the person. It's like a ball and chain. It goes wherever you go.